The group of proteins known as cyclins are an important set of master switches for various stages of the cell cycle. These cyclins help to signal multiple proteins within the cell as to which actions are appropriate at a given stage of the cell cycle. There are different cyclins for different stages of the cell cycle and production of new cyclins help to promote migration through the cell cycle as cells divide. Cyclin activity is mediated through a set of cyclin-dependent kinases, or CDK enzymes, which are in turn regulated by their phosphorylation. So for example, in the cycle, a cyclin molecule will bind to the corresponding CDK enzyme. This changes its shape and allows for the phosphorylation of two amino acids, threonine 14 and tyrosine 15. This will inactivate the complex so that it can exist in the cell at a stage where it is not actively promoting cell division. Another position, the threonine at site 161 can later be phosphorylated as the cell has been triggered to divide. And then the phosphates on the threonine and tyrosine at sites 14 and 15 can then be removed. This complex will now phosphorylate target uh, effector molecules which will then migrate the cell through the next stage of cell division. A cell must be able to inactivate these complexes allowing the cell to migrate to the following stage of the cell cycle. A small protein known as ubiquitin binds to cyclin and targets it for destruction. It will dissociate from the CDK and move to the proteosome in the cytoplasm, which is a complex which destroys targeted proteins. Once threonine-161 is dephosphorylated, the CDK has returned to its original starting state and the cycle can begin again.